Hello everyone and welcome back to the series of hard disk drive solved problems. In this session, we will observe two more interesting numerical problems on hard disk drives. So without any further ado, let's get to learning. Observe the first question. Consider a hard disk drive with the following specifications. So in the specs, the seek time is given as 5 milliseconds. The disk has the rotational speed of 7200 RPM. The data rate is given as 40 kilobytes per second. Well, this is the data rate, not T data transfer or the time taken by the disk to transfer data. That depends on four factors. Amount of the data to be transferred, rotational speed of the disk, density of the track and speed of the medium that interfaces the disk with the processor. Here. The data rate means only the speed of the interfacing medium. Coming to the next specification, it is the controller overhead which has been specified as 0.33 milliseconds. Hard disk controller or the adapter of the hard disk drive is the interface between the processor and the disk. It receives and interprets the processor's commands and sends control signals to the disk. Controller overhead means the processing time of the controller. Now we are supposed to find out the average access time of the hard disk drive for transferring a sector. So for these specifications, what will be the T average of the hard disk drive if we want to transfer a sector? So let's solve it. We already know the average access time is seek time TS plus rotational delay TR plus T data transfer. In addition to this, in this specific problem, we will have to consider the controller overhead as well in order to find out the average access time. Now TS is already mentioned in the question and it is 5 milliseconds. Coming to TR, we actually have to figure it out and for that we need the rotational speed. Now 7200 RPM means 7200 rotations in 60 seconds. Therefore, one rotation will take 60 upon 7200 seconds, which amounts to 1 by 120 seconds. This is the rotation time. Now, in order to find out the average rotational delay, we have to figure out how long does half a rotation take. So, half a rotation will take 1 by 2 multiplied by 1 by 120 seconds, which is 1 upon 240 seconds. Since seek time is given in milliseconds, let's convert this into the same unit. Now, how will we do that? We will multiply 1000 upon 1000 with the value 1 by 240 because 10 raised to the power minus 3 seconds mean 1 millisecond. Now, 1000 by 240 approximately amounts to 4.17. So, in the end, we get 4.17 milliseconds. So, TR, that is the average rotational delay, is 4.17 milliseconds. Coming to T data transfer, we also have to calculate it. And for that, here we need the data rate, that is the speed of the interfacing medium, and the amount of data byte that we want to transfer. Now, from the data rate, we can state 40 kilobytes of data is transferred in one second. So, in order to transfer one byte of data, the medium will take 1 by 40k, that is 40 multiplied by 1024, because 1k in terms of data is 1024. So, 1 by 40 into 1024 seconds. Now, the question states that we will be transferring the amount of data a sector can hold. And we know that generally, sectors are of 512 bytes. Therefore, following this convention, 512 bytes of data is transferred in 512 upon 40 into 1024. Now, if we multiply 512 with 2, we get 1024. So, this will be 1 by 40 into 2 seconds. Now, the unit here is second and we have been converting all the units to milliseconds. For that, we will simply follow the previous procedure. 
So, 1 by 80 into 1000 upon 1000 seconds. Now, 1000 divided by 80 is 12.5. So, in the end, we get the value as 12.5 milliseconds. So, the T data transfer or the time taken for the data transfer is 12.5 milliseconds. And now we are left with the controller overhead. Well, it is already given in the specifications itself. So, T controller overhead is 0 0.33 milliseconds. Now, let's add this up. Now, 5 plus 4.17 is 9.17 plus 12.5 is 21.67. And adding 0 0.33 to 21.67, we get 22 milliseconds as the result. So, for this hard disk drive, the average access time for transferring a sector is 22 milliseconds. Now, let's move on to the next one. Consider the second question. A certain moving arm disk storage with one head. Well, it is basically the hard disk drive has the following specifications. The number of tracks per surface is 200. The disk rotation speed is given as 2400 RPM. The track storage capacity is 62500 bits. Observe, here the track capacity is given in terms of bits. The average latency, that is the average rotational delay, is p milliseconds. And the data transfer rate is Q bits per second. Write the values of P and Q. So, we need to find out the rotational delay, that is P, and the T data transfer, that is Q. We will start with P, that is the rotational delay. Now, we already know that in order to find out the rotational delay, we need the disk rotation speed. Now, 2400 RPM means 2400 rotations in 60 seconds. So, one rotation will take 60 by 2400 seconds, which equates to 1 upon 40 seconds. Therefore, for half a rotation, the disk will take 1 by 2 into 1 by 40 seconds, which amounts to 1 by 80 seconds. Now, the unit of average latency is given in milliseconds. So, let's follow the same drill. We are going to multiply 1000 upon 1000 with 1 by 80. Now, 1000 by 80 results in 12.5. Therefore, half a rotation will take 12.5 milliseconds. This is the average latency. So, we have found out the value of P. Let's now find out the value of Q. We just calculated that one rotation takes 1 upon 40 seconds. In the specs, the storage capacity of the tracks is given as 62,500 bits. We know that in one rotation, the read-write head of the hard disk can read an entire track. So, we can state in 1 upon 40 seconds, 62,500 bits are transferred. Therefore, in one second, definitely more bits will be transferred. So, in one second, 40 into 62,500 bits are transferred. Now, this results in 25 lakhs bits. So, this is the data transfer rate. So, we have found out the value of Q as well. So, for this question, the average latency is 12.5 milliseconds and the data transfer rate is 25 lakhs bits per second. All right, people, that will be all for this session. In the next session, we will observe some more numerical problems. So, I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.